Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, we're gonna talk about an adage that you pretty much hear all across the business world, which is the customer is always right. We're gonna talk a little bit about does that apply to development businesses? And is that something that you should incorporate in how you do business? So in development businesses, is the client always right? Well, let's answer it literally. Literally, no. Um, very frequently they are wrong. And typically the most common reason why they're wrong is they're trying to make judgments on something that they're experts in. If they were experts in development, then they wouldn't have a need to hire you. But that surely does not stop them from trying to pass judgment um, or make large project decisions that they are not equipped to make. Now, the true kind of heart of the question is, do you treat them as if they're right all of the time? A lot of businesses out there in different sectors, different expertise, they like to focus as if every time there's a complaint, uh, the customer is always right. And that's one way that they make sure that the customer always stays happy. That's something that works for a lot of other different industries. Now, whether or not you wanna treat your development business like that, that's entirely up to you. I've seen plenty of development businesses use that kind of motto when it comes to customers and client disputes. So if a client isn't happy with something, they refund them. If the client thinks that they cut corners somewhere, they go out of their way to give them free hours and essentially free money to fix whatever the problem is. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you definitely have businesses and business owners that are combative when presented with a potential problem. It's always not their fault. It's always up to the client to lower their expectations. Now, obviously, success lies somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. My advice for you is to find some kind of balance. Now, keep in mind, this is a highly technical job, and your clients are almost never going to be as highly technical as the people building their project. Even if they do have a programming background, even in that case, they're not gonna be so acquainted with the project that they're gonna be able to be in a position to make good project-based decisions. So in general, when it comes to development businesses, I say you do this on a case-by-case -case basis and you do not have a strategy really across the board. I think in our situation, um, it's too hard to make a general rule about customers and how often they're right. Try to pick um, the individual details in each individual case and make your decision that way. There, there are always going to be times where you made a mistake. And unless you're in a type of situation where you don't think you're ever gonna see that client again and you maybe you don't wanna see them ever again, you're going to try to have to remedy the situation regardless. Now, if you do have to admit fault, and this is kind of a side note, try not to be overly apologetic. That's something that really erodes authority. Be rational explain what went wrong and why the likelihood of this being wrong in the future is very, very small. Now, there's other types of scenarios where the client themselves makes a colossal error. Now, it's either because they try to make a judgment themselves or maybe they assume they knew more than they actually do. These are really unavoidable and it's pretty much something that you're going to have happen guaranteed throughout your business career. <laughs> Thank you.